What's up, everybody? This is Gareth the Cage, and we're back at Farpoint on the PlayStation VR. And we just got through, I'm going to call it a ship graveyard here, and uh, got ourselves a new gun, and now we're fighting robots, which is much appreciated over the spiders. I don't have to change pants after every episode now, which is much appreciated. I hate doing laundry that often. What's this? Look and scan all fragments. Wow. What was that? Oh, it's nothing. It's a harmonica. One of the engineers used to play it on his rounds. Never knew his name. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. You you gotta accept this though. You have to At some point denial is not a good thing and, and that's not a good thing. Like Last time we got to sit in the cabin and, and see the transmissions, it was five days in. So... Probability is getting lower and lower per day. Hold on here. Is it going to try to kill me if I can come up here and look? Alert. Pilgrim located. What?! Thank God. They must be inside. No shit! Data recovery complete. New holographic files are available to view. Playback. Oh, look at that view, though. Boy. That's a view. thing about these soil samples is that the microorganisms in here they have no clear evolutionary connection to one another it's like they're all from different ecosystems i mean they're as different from each other as they are from us god you could spend a lifetime here and still never totally scratch the surface can you please stop wasting time with that it's not relevant to us getting home it's not useful to our survival if we don't get out of here it doesn't matter how interesting this place is, no one will ever know. So at the very least, you should be cataloging rations, or maybe... Maybe... You know what? I'm being an asshole. I'm sorry. I've just been walking around. Okay. I get it. I definitely drew the short end of the straw. I'm usually pretty nice, I swear. <laughs> oh yeah? Feeling that's not going to happen that way. Oh. All right. What? No, no, no! I want to look more at the view. Why'd you put me here? Fragment. 
Yes. I'm finally here. I'm in the heart of the pilgrim. You see any survivors? No, not yet. Hold on. Hello? Where are you guys? Grant, you should pack up your stuff and head out here. They'll probably want to get moving as soon as possible. Hello? I gotta be here. There's no one here. Either your oxygen reserves just hit 48%. Just hold on a second, okay? They're here somewhere. here. Let's go this way. There is nothing left of this. Seriously. Oh! Shooting star. At first I thought maybe the pilgrim had made these things. And maybe they still did. But boy, they're going to be upset when they find out how many of these things are broke. Man, this, this sniper rifle is awesome. I love it. This is cover. missiles at okay let's do this again gotta pop them okay pop them would be in a world of pain if you didn't keep a hold of this thing while you know you just well I'm going to toss this down to keep the shotgun. It'd be kind of hard I think. Uh, oh fall damage. Well we're getting closer to the beacon over here. There is an antenna coming off that and it's still got power. Alert. To assist holographic file recovery Locate and scan all fragments. Look, if this is a joke, I... Anyone? Hello? It's not a joke.
Yeah, this place is... See better days. I'm waiting for Dr. Moon to snap on her and go, look, it's, it, they're not here. I'm waiting for that to happen. Is that water? No, it's bubbling. Yeah, it's not water. Yeah, I... From a distance, it kind of looked like it. Obviously not. Oh, look at this place. Oh, that's the first time I've seen my shadow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect the, the movement to look good in it, that's for sure. That's fine. Oh. Final batch. Okay, playback. Working on something that can help us. Check it out. Artificial photosynthesis. These babies will use daylight to generate all the protein, carbs, and oxygen we need. Indefinitely. I'm gonna go place these up on the ridge. I'll be back home in a couple of hours. Don't call this home. Snap on her. <sighs> Thirty two days. You can't go outside without telling me. It's not safe. We're supposed to be a team. See, this is how they did it. There was no one at the pilgrim when we got there because they already left. They repaired a shuttle. And they left. And we're gonna do the same. Eva. We probably had more manpower, but if we... Eva! What? We need to talk. Please. Come outside. OK, 
Hey, what? Look up. That star. Its core is glowing like that because it's losing its hydrogen layer faster than the others. It's, it's actually completely unique behavior for a star. You recognize it? You know where we are. It's called Eulis 744. It's one of the farthest known stars from Earth. So if you know where we are, we can chart a course home, right? Yes. <laughs> But that also means that this planet is almost 800,000 light years from Earth. Even if you repair the shuttle, without a wormhole to condense the distance, the journey back to Earth, it would... The journey would take... How long? Three billion years. If we made it back. The sun would have burnt out long ago. The earth would be ice. The human race would be gone. Then how do you suggest we get home? Maybe earth isn't home anymore. Maybe this is home. Away from me. Really? That's how you're going to deal with this? This is Izzy Tyson. Can anyone read me? Oh. His name is Izzy Tyson. I'm him. I'm Dr. Moon. Can anyone read me? It's not much, but I made you a birthday cake. I don't want to know you. What? Anyone? Please, someone must be out there. Say something? No. Look around your world, pretty baby. It aching with some nameless need. But there's something wrong, and you can't put your finger on it. Right then, go to me. <laughs> I'm going to be your personal Delamitri jukebox. It's not Del, you forgive me. Truth hurts. And 
you told me you hurt me. But that doesn't give me the right to hurt you. I'm sorry, Grant. I wasn't sorry. Actually, glow growing plants and everything. Holy crap! Oh. It's a story, Mom. You don't think the story's a little bit scary for you? Mom! Okay. Well, the wormhole opened, and it swallowed the whole station. And me, and my dad, and the pilot, I think. Is that the person in the little ship? That's right, the little ship. It swallowed us all. One wow. One. Did you die? Uh, guys. Because I'm telling you the story. Okay. What's that? Grant. Oh my god! Oh, wow. That's a lot to take in. Um, 
I'm going to stop here for now. If this next section is too short, I'm just going to splice them together. But if not, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It helps us out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel. We have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys stay frosty.